The Street Fighter 6 beta recently just ended this past weekend, and of course, everybody has some inside thoughts to say about the game. Now, I want to say that the inside suspects, the victims who got on everybody's nerves, is most likely hands down going to be Gal and Kimberly. Now, of course, me, I am a fallen victim. Yes, I cannot stand Kimberly. I didn't mind Gal. A lot of people had some issues with Gal, but me personally, I didn't mind it. Kimberly, yeah, she needs to be nerfed off the face of the planet. But you know what? I'm not hating. I'm just giving my personal opinion. So I've decided, as always, to take this to Twitter and ask the world, which character do y'all feel should be nerfed? DRB Jr. He said none. Take them all. I like his positivity, but you know what? I had to hit him with the Denzel door slam, all right? Because ain't no way possible you want Kimberly to stay the same. Kimberly had you tight. Yeah, bro. She had a lot of people tight, man. My boy Grand Cherokee, he understand. He said Kimberly and Gal. See, he understand the pain. The two main suspects. We know you want Kimberly nerf, sir. I ain't think this was a Kimberly hate video. Let me lurk. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, 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 bro. 64 people had something to say, all right? I doubt everybody said Kimberly. Doug Pye said, I'm gonna need that Kimberly to take a few steps back. I end up being a lot of Kimberleys. You know what? Out of 64 comments, I truly believe that roughly 20 plus will probably be about Kimberly. This dude said all of them except for Ryu. Kimberly and Gal getting me, no, getting put to bed. If they give Kim a few buffs, then I think she'll be decent. Can you believe this person said buff? Kimberly gotta go. That's what I'm talking about. Modern control. All right, all right. So this is actually an interesting post right here. I'm actually curious about this one. Will people actually hate modern controls? Because I, I had to put, I, I wonder if people will really grow to hate that controller scheme. Apparently, people be spamming charge characters. I don't see no top players playing it. If they lose, they will hate anything. That sounds about right. All right, here we go, here we go. 81 hit combo on modern controls. Yes, modern controls is real. All right, here we go. So to my understanding, some combos are actually made easier because of modern controls and you know, being able to just press each thing with just a press of one button without having to execute it the way you would have to execute it with classic controls. So not saying this is impossible on classic, but it definitely re requires more skill with classic, I would say. Yo, is he gonna kill though? No, probably not. No, he can't kill. No, it, is he about to kill? Oh, I'm about to say, bruh, what is that damage? What is that damage? This is actually reminding me of the Street Fighter V Gal loop, but way more intense. Actually, on second thought, all right, I might understand why this person said he's gonna hate modern controls. If they end up nerfing modern controls, blame Jake. Jamie was kind of cooking me, not gonna lie. I don't know if it was just me having a skill issue, but still, he was beating my booty butt cheeks. All right, so me personally, I don't see why people were saying Jamie was, Jamie was bad. I think the common issue with him is that he seems to struggle with fireballs, but seeing that we have a general parry now, is it really an issue? Now, I know his break dance, it allows him to get around fireballs, but from what I hear, it's not consistent. Jamie has predictable strains in my opinion. He struggles to keep offense going. Really? Because... I mean, maybe base level Jamie, right? Because the more he level up, he becomes a more fitted character. Especially at level three, you, you have a command grab now. So offense becomes more potent. He got an overhead that combos into the drink and he got a low that combos in, into the drink. So you got a high low mix right there. And then you get options for a command grab? Struggling on offense? Lucky said Honda and Geef. This post was pertaining to the open beta, but the fact that he said Geef and Honda already, I don't know, he might be saying the future. Luke? Luke? People want Luke nerfed? Why? He's not Street Fighter V Luke. Well, I had to hit him with the Denzel door slam. Y'all already know how we get down with that. Gal, I feel you on that. Kimberly and Gal, I feel you on that. 
Ryu because they don't deserve a good character. Jury's crouching medium kick for crying out loud. Why not make it one button character and to dry rush with it? You know what? I feel his pain about Jury, but you know what? I'm going to make this a general medium kick opinion. I don't know if it's just me, but during my time with this beta, I feel like every character has an extended hurt box on medium kick compared to what I actually see when that button is being thrown out. Every time I tried to play footsies around that button, I was still in range of low forward. So low forward in the dry rush is going to be a real big staple for Street Fighter 6. I zonk gaming. My dude said, nobody really. Let's play it out. If I have to name one, it's going to be Gal. Pretty sure he's going to be top tier in a few months. His strengths can't really be neutralized. Gal will have the most winning matchups when people have the matchup knowledge down. Pretty certain of it. I feel like until people get the hang of perfect parry, Gal is going to be playing his own game for a good little minute. His fireballs recover a little bit too fast, so even if you drive impact at the right time, he could still react with drive impact. And that's actually kind of brutal. I, I feel like Kimberly was just knowledge checking a lot of people. I'm not going to say Kimberly is a bad character because you can look at her and just see that she's a problem. But Gal, yeah, Gal is really playing his own game. I feel like he should get a combo on normal hit with his overhead, to be honest. You have to commit to the run. Wait, you want him to get a normal combo after overhead? I feel like I might know why you're saying that. Because you're looking at Kimberly, right? Kimberly get a normal combo off of just a regular overhead hit, right? So you, you kind of want the same thing for Ken. So you know what? I feel you on that. But to combat that, I don't know why Kimberly got it. You feel me? She already a walking 50-50. If I get hit by a regular overhead, why she get a follow-up? Like, riddle me this. You know what I'm saying? Riddle me this. Why she get that? I'm going to bet for Kim and maybe Jury. Jury heavy kick and dive kick is busted. The same for Kimberly over overhead by plus. Too early to really tell, but I think it's crazy that Gal has the normals that he has on top of being that strong of his owner. Absolutely. All right, this dude said, honestly, nerf no one. I think we need to see how they interact with the rest of the cast first, like nerf Gal. But what if Gal is strong against these characters, but then completely booty butt cheeks against JP and Mana? You know what? You you right. You right. And I feel like Manon might actually give him issues because Manon has a uh, Balrog's V skill one that allows her to spin around fireballs and lead into a follow up. Can you tell us your feedback on the open beta? Our team at Capcom would like to hear your thoughts. Oh, well, you know. My, my personal thoughts on the beta, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I played the whole weekend, 12 hours. I definitely made the most of the time that we were provided with it. You know what I'm saying? My only gripe about the beta, the game, the seasons, the longevity of the game itself is that I pray and hope for Balrog. But besides that, I love it. I have nothing bad to say about the game. I just got to figure out how to play against Kimberly and that's it. So much love to Capcom. I truly enjoyed the beta and I am waiting each day patiently for the full game to drop June 2nd. If they hit Gal's five balls and Kim's damage, I'm good. Besides that, let them cook. And Kim also shouldn't get her buff if she misses her level three. I think they overlooked that. Wait, wait, she still get the buff if she miss her level three? Yo, let's nerf Ken. I saw too much of him in, in the beta. Blame Chris T. G Real? Hold on. Gaul and Ryu? You want Ryu nerfed? Both of them do too much damage for the routes they're given. People complaining about Kimberly when literally Cammy and Lily right around the corner. All right, so you sound like a Kimberly man. After the pain that was Street Fighter Five, where you deserves more time to shine. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying, man. Like he, you know what I'm saying? Nerf Luke, bro. What? Huh? Um. I definitely don't want to go through all these comments because most of them are definitely repeating either Gal, Kimberly, and probably saying something about Jamie. As a Jamie player, 100% Gal, the matchup is unplayable. Kimberly and Gal, yeah, Kimberly, Gal, Kimberly, Gal, Gal, Kimberly. Ryu just cause, wow. Kim got to go, bro, bro, yeah. No one needs to be nerfed. Gal needs to be nuked. Kimberly Gao needs to cease to exist on God.
just nerf Gal a little bit, but mostly nerf Kimberly kill her. So I think that's pretty much a good spot to wrap up the video, y'all. Everybody had a common mindset on obviously Gal and Kimberly being the headache. So um, according to Capcom, we are expecting some quality of life adjustments on June 2nd. So what can this be? Who knows? Will characters get nerfed? Will characters get buffed? Will they get rid of throw loops? What's going to happen? Who knows? But we shall see June 2nd. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one.